This is the program we'll make within this tutorial. A graphic will be placed in the screen and work as a button. When we click on the button, the computer will respond that the button was clicked. When we click something else, the computer will respond that something else was clicked. School Freeware's QBasic Tutorial Series, Tutorial 56, Mouse Interface Part 2, Adding a Button. This tutorial will use QB64 version 1.2 running on Windows 8.1. This is a QB64 only program. QBasic 1.1 will not work with the code. The code and button can be downloaded at schoolfreeware.com. The button is a JPEG picture with the size 100 by 40. The name is buttonclickme.jpg and it can be drawn in any graphics program. The button was placed in the QB64 folder. The screen used within this tutorial is 800 by 600. The upper left hand corner is coordinate 00. The lower right hand corner is coordinate 799, 599. X increases as we go to the right. Y increases as we go down. To click on the button, we would need to have the mouse positioned inside of the button area, and the mouse, of course, has to be clicked. The mouse's X coordinate has to be greater than or equal to the button's left hand side and the mouse's X coordinate has to be less than or equal to the button's right hand side. And the mouse's Y coordinate has to be greater than or equal to the button's top. And the mouse's Y coordinate has to be less than or equal to the button's bottom. Inside of the QB64 folder we have button click me dot JPEG. All it is is a graphic with a white background and click me written in the middle. We'll start the program by declaring button click me as a long. This will hold our graphic. The screen will be a new image 800 by 600 32 bit. Button click me will equal load image and the file name button click me dot jpeg we then need to put the button someplace I'll put the button at coordinate 325 325 I'll just run at this time just to verify that everything's working correctly before we go on. The graphic shows up. Very good. Okay, we'll go on. We'll have a do loop while in key is equal to two quotation marks together. So I'll loop this program until a key is pressed. We need another loop, one for the mouse input, while mouse input, and I'll end that loop when. Now comes time for the hit detection. If the mouse's X coordinate is greater than or equal to the button's left hand side, and the button was put at 325 and the mouse's X coordinate is less than or equal to the button's right hand side which is the left hand side plus the width which happens to be 100. Now comes the Y coordinates. The mouse's Y coordinate has to be greater than or equal to the button's top, which was set at 325. And the mouse's Y coordinate has to be less than or equal to the button's bottom, which is the top plus the height. 325 plus 40. Finally, the left mouse button has to be clicked. I'll set this to equal negative one 
we'll find that we don't need to have this set as negative one. We could just have mouse button one. But since it was mentioned in the previous tutorial, I'll put in negative one here. It'll still work, it'll still be correct. Now I'll locate one one so I can print. The button was clicked. And if. Okay. Go ahead and run. Click on the button. It says the button was clicked, but when I click off of the button someplace, it still says the button was clicked. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'll put in an else. If. Mouse button one equals negative one. Then we know that the button has been clicked and that within the button area. We'll locate one one so we can print something else was clicked. I'll run. Click on the button, the button was clicked, clicked off the button, something else was clicked. Click on the button and we find that there's still text up there from something else was clicked and that's sort of messing everything up. Let's go ahead and fix that. Since something else was clicked is longer than the button was clicked, I'll just go ahead to the shorter text area and I'll set the viewpoint one, two, Two. So this will work with line one and I'll CLS clear the screen two. CLS two clears the text viewpoint, which is set to line one. Go ahead and run. The button was clicked. Something else was clicked. The button was clicked. Something else was clicked. And now we have clean text at the top. Everything looks good. Okay, I'll remove these negative ones. You don't have to put in the negative ones. You can if you want. Doesn't make the program wrong. This saves a little typing, that's all. I'll go ahead and run. Verify that the changes work. And there we are with a clickable button area.